Hi everyone, this is Ani and uh, as my previous video, it was about MIMO, so I decided to talk something in continuous. Uh, we know in MIMO, a capability of both sides, I mean transmitter and receiver is important. So uh, as long as we have a receiver, which is capable of uh, just two spatial stream, which is a two by two uh, column two. So it means two TX, two RX and two spatial streaming. So it doesn't matter if on the transmitter side, we have four by four column four. I mean, so just two is enough. But at the same time, we know that uh, in MIMO system, all of these four components are working. So all of these are working, but here just it is capable of two. It is the point of question. I mean, how it works. So there are two scenarios. The first one is um, STBC, uh, space-time block coding, and the other one is TXBF, transmit beam forming. And these two things are the intentions of the video. So let's go to the blackboard and then we'll study that. Let's start. The thing is that when we have more antennas, let's say this is our MIMO system like this this is my MIMO AP uh, 3 by 3 3 and just you have an IoT device you have cell phone whatever let's call it thermometer which is something like that all of these three will work but the thing is that uh, the spatial stream is just one so whenever the number of uh, the let's say number of radio chains is more than spatial streaming in the rx side what do we have two things service uh time sorry space time block coding and transmit beam forming these are the things that we will talk about them in this video so the first one is transmit beam forming i said uh increasing the number of antennas won't increase throughput however this one stbc does increase the ability uh, to what to detect signals with uh, somehow the lower SNR. So let's say detect signals with the lower SNR. So it's a good thing. But the question is, so how? How it is actually by improving what improving the rx sensitivity again the question is how i'm going to show you so here what is the scenario what do we have let me draw again uh, my ap's are more like a centipede <laughs> sorry for that so let's say we have a laptop here uh, and this is my laptop it is two, 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 let's say three, 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 or let me add another one and make it four. So a bigger centipede, let's say. So four, four, four. Here, the first two will be special special stream number one so actually these two will communicate the same data and these two will communicate the same data so special stream number two this is the way that it works so for data number one which will be uh, maybe let's say one, two, three, four. And this one, it will be like five, six, seven, eight. 
this one, the laptop, it will receive twice of, uh, let's say like this, one, two, three, four with SNR A, one, two, three, four with SNR B, uh, five, six, seven, eight with uh, SNR prime C, I mean a different number and five six seven eight with snr prime d the lower numbers the higher numbers i mean different numbers will be received and then it will decide which one is better for that so this is the concept of space block stbc uh, sorry, space time block coding. I don't know why I'm making a mistake. <laughs> Somehow mix them up. So, service time block coding. The first one. But what is the second one? Uh, what do we have? So, we know about this one. What is this one? Transmit beam forming. Transmit beam forming what is transmit beam forming and what are the things related to that so in general we can say this one using a uh, phase adjustment uh, we know everything about multipath and those stuff and we know that when we have uh, different signals i mean the, the same signal but uh, when they uh, come at different time, at like different numbers, the phase will be different. So the thing is that what do we have? We have multiple copies of the signal. And the receive signal will be what? Out of phase. What do we need here? We do need phase adjustment. So for phase adjustment, what do we want transmit beam forming? Let's continue. If the transmitter, if the transmitter knows about uh, the RF characteristic of the receiver location, so it can adjust the phase. It is what we call it what, uh, let's continue again with this color. What do we need? Core coordinated coordinated method to what to solve the problem so if we have a coordinated method in the end what do we have a constructive constructive multipath while always we have destructive so what is a constructive multipath let me draw that again uh, let's say Again, this is my centipede, my mo AP, and the four, 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 but oops, sorry. Here we do have a laptop like this, and let's say one, one, yeah, one. Here we do have four path to send the same signal why because this device is just supporting one spatial stream so it will be one two three four blah 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 three four blah 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 one two three four blah blah okay and this is the stream of data one two three four blah 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 and here again sorry one two three four blah blah uh, this is the visualization of the things that we are going to have. Uh, what should we do now? How to uh, understand the situation better? Again, we should come back to that concept. Constructive multipath. 
when they have different phases but these phases are adjusted in a way that is related to the location of the client station so i would say we'll receive signals that in the end they will be in phase and it will be constructive if we have constructive multipath then we can say we do have higher snr so when we do have a higher snr we can have we have what we have a higher throughput or throughput will increase if throughput increases we can use what let's say complex or sophisticated we can use a uh, complex or sophisticated modulations like 16 for example qam we can say 256 qam or whatever so we can increase so in this way what will be increased we can encode more data bit i mean uh we see everything is going to increase and in the end the result will be more satisfying and the last thing uh, related to txpf is a uh, sounding frame so as long as it is related to the location or like a coordinated method a system uh, it is important to have feedback both uh, transmitter and receiver they educate each other uh, via some feedbacks and uh, it is what they call sounding frame and the calculations call a string matrix and this is the way that they try to optimize the situation this is the last thing that's uh, related to transmit beamforming and also it was whatever i wanted to cover in this video i hope you like it if you like it just show me a thumbs up have a good one. Bye, everyone.